Alright, in this tutorial we're going to be using the say3d command to create a radio that all clients can hear. I've noticed play sound 3 d it does work, but it kind of seems to be hit or miss when you're trying to get the path directly to your file, so we're just going to use say3d. Now, say3d is a local command, so if I were to, let's say I have my player here, and there's my friend right here. If I play the say 3D command on my unit, like my client, my friend will not be able to hear it. However, if you use remote execution and I play it from my client, my friend will also be able to hear it just like anybody else around here would be able to. I've already made this by the way. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and make our little station here, we're going to use a table and a radio. Prop that right there. Let's call our radio radio. So, since init player local fires on all machines, we're going to be using the add action here. So, the add action is assigned to radio, add action, play radio. Now we're going to want to execute a separate script just to keep things nice and neat. So we're just going to call it play radio. Now, ARMA3, when you're doing this, it's going to play .ogg files. So, in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and provide this in the description. Go to this website, choose your file, click Convert File, and it will automatically start downloading your file as a .cgg. However, I have the three files I want to use here. I'm not going to bother converting over any music, so I just have three short little ones. One being Cash Register Sound, Paul Blart, Paul Blart, Mall Cop. And this. I swore an oath to protect this mall and all inside it. Because they were in my other mission. And, well, why not save time? Let's go ahead and make a new folder. Just call it music. These do not have to be inside a folder, but for the sake of keeping everything nice and neat, just do it. Alright, so now inside the add action, we want to execute the file. So exec vm since we don't need to pass any parameters play radio.sqf save it now you're also going to need to modify the description.ext to make this so we're going to make a class called config sounds which you can read off of the wiki here class name or sound to be played defined in config sounds including description.ext now in order to find out how to do this, scroll down on the right side and you should see config sounds and here's pretty much how you would set it up. So it's going to be class CFG sounds, open and closing braces, then sounds. By the way, if you have a single space like that, this will throw an annoying error that you will not be able to fix, which is why I'm going to take number two, unless you actually find that you need to get rid of that stupid space there like everything else. Now we're not doing anything with it, so just leave it empty. Now this is going to be what we play. So when we use say 3D and we have our file name, we're going to use cash register for example, it's going to be what we define as the class. So class ca cash register, you are messaging me at the wrong time. And then opening, closing braces. Now here's where we just do our other crap. So name can really be anything. Register sound. Now this is where we're going to define our path. So remember we placed it in a, file, a folder called music. So we're going to do sound. Remember no space there. Equals music backslash then the name of the file. In this case cash register. So 
cash register.ogg, you need the file extension. Now it's going to take in, which these are all optional, the pitch, I mean the volume first, so we're going to set it to 10, make it really loud, just because why not. Then the pitch, default is 1, distance is also 100 by default, but we can leave those done. So I'll just leave it at the um, volume, so it'll be a little bit lighter than normal. Then we do titles, remember, no space between the titles and the square brackets, or else you'll have that stupid error, equals, just leave it empty. Alright, so we've now created a class for cash register. We just need to remember the name. Now come back over here. We're also going to be making this so it'll select a random sound out of an array. So in order to do that, we're going to use the select random command. So we're going to make a new local variable called sounds, set it equal to select, random, and then our array. We're going to go and put cash register, make sure it's in quotes, as this is going to be the name of it, which as you can see here for the sound, it is a string. So what select random pretty much is doing, sounds does not hold this array. Sounds pretty much is equal to whatever select random chooses out of this array, if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and write up how to do the, use the command. Now, this is using remote execution, so everybody on the server can hear it play from that uh, radio itself. So we're going to make our arguments, remote, execute, then the function name, which is say 3d. Now, in order to do this, it's going to be a little bit differently than the normal syntax you see here, like that. So we're going to use from, which is going to be the object it's playing off of. And as you remember, it's called radio. Now here's where we get into this. So these, this very outer brace here, those are the arguments for re the remote execution. These inner arguments are for, well, say 3D's arguments. So it's going to be the sound. We're going to just do sounds, so it's going to select a random one for us. Max, distance, uh, these are all optional by the way. We're just going to do default 100, I think, because that's default. Yeah, 100 meters. Then the pitch, just leave it at 1. So now when we click the add action, it should play the sound. Hopefully. And it did not. <laughs> Alright. Do, do, do. May have made a typo somewhere. Let me check real quick. So we got music. Never mind, I see why. This is supposed to be set to sound, not sounds. So as you can see here, sound. Yeah. <laughs> also, random note when. Every make a change in the description.ext, you must return to this screen here in the editor for it to actually take effect. Otherwise, if you do just restart or something like that, it will not work. So we play. Still nothing. All right, let's just see if it works if we do it this way. Start narrowing it down. I think when it says optional, it's only talking about the distance. So just set the pitch to one. Save it and try again.
Alright, that's a little loud, but... Now when you press play radio, as you can hear, well, plays the radio. And all clients connected to the server are going to be able to hear that as long as they're within range to actually hear it. So now let's make two more of these. Call this Paul Blart. And protect mall. P mall. PB. Now for get the file names. Now we can go back here to setting this up. Sounds. Paul Blurt. Protect Mall. So now when we go back into the game, it should select a random one out of the three and play it. The sworn oath to protect this mall and all inside it. Attempt to. Sworn oath to protect this mall and all inside it. All right, play the other one. Come on. Not that one. Mall blurry. Mall cop. So, anyways, kind of see how that works. So, you now have a radio that can play random sound files, pretty much, whenever the user presses something on it. So, yeah, this sucked. <laughs>